Well, I tried, Floofty. Salutations. No volunteers. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Uh, you deserve Hardly. it. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Uh, why is that? Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Fully transform Floofty. All right. Well, let us. Uh, okay. So, what do we got to donate? What do we got? Great mosquito. Great mosquito. Uh, we got a kooky. Did I donate a sprinkle peat already? I'm not sure. Donate a Baja Roach. Donate a Minimari. Donate a that one. Have I donated a flaming cheap poof. Hey, buddy. Now, does this list, like, every single one that I've ever caught? I hope it does. I'm sure there's some that I haven't donated. But, yeah. So, I donated that. I might have enough breakfast things. I think somebody wanted that. I think so. Flaming cheap poof. Did I donate a flutter jam? I'm not sure, but I, th I think I need to keep. No, I haven't. What I need to I need to keep that because I need breakfast ones. Breakfast. Breakfast. Maybe breakfast, but maybe not. What? Okay, I'm looking here, thinking. I'm gonna give her these three. And hope that these might be considered breakfast. Like, maybe the Flutter Jam. Flutter, I'm more concerned about the Sprinkle Bead. <coughs> I am very concerned about the Sprinkle Bead. Nose. Unbelievable. Nice. What? Oh, neat. Good. Nom, nom, nom. Flutter jam. Intriguing. Okay, I have a cookie. Pull. Neat. Okay. Now I need. What do I need? I need. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five more sweet things. Okay. Uh, where do I want to go for that? I'm trying to think here now. It's like, there's a bunch of Simmering Springs. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Like, I could get a couple of those. I could get, I could get them. I'm trying to think where the best place to go would be. Flavor Falls, we're missing out on two things. Mm. But nothing really sweet. Got the Rasby, I suppose. Uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Like, I see the Sweetie Flies, and I think that's probably, like, the best ones. But Frosted Peaks. What the hell? <laughs> I think it might be good to uh, go to Simmering Spring. Uh, not Simmering Springs. Where is it? Uh, Flavor Falls, because we're missing two things at Flavor Falls. Well, actually, no, not... Uh, Garden Grove. We can catch a Sweetie Fly, we can catch the Strabby. And then I think we could go to Flavor Falls and get the, get the uh, plain old Strabby. Because we only need five. So, I'll get... I'll get jobs. Hey, Bestie. We'll go. Now that Snorpy and Chandlo are back, it's Toad's snooping time. I never got any dirt on Chandlo. He's gotta have some deep, dark secret, but whatever it is, he's too good at hiding it. If anybody can find their way through that buff facade, 
It's you, bestie. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't you have something? What you want again? You go find the biggest, buffest bugs. Okay, big buff bug snacks. I don't know what you mean by that, but that's all right. Uh, Tiffany, where's huh? Tiffany? Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. How you doing, dog? Sorry, man. Why is it Tiffany in there? How you doing? Good, thank you. Tiffany? Cause she wanted to go explore. How you doing? I hey. guess that's a I guess that's a later thing. All right, that's fine. Cause I gotta talk to her, and then she's just like, "Hey, let's go." I'm like, "Okay, I guess I guess we're going." <laughs> I guess away we go. Can I just like I wanna see something if I could just Can I just grab them with my uh, snack grappler? Nope. Does it say they're too fast? Okay. Bunker bunker bunker. Chunk. Hey. That's one sweetie fly. Oh no, we're gonna fall. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay. And where do you settle down? You settle down on a tree, don't you? I'm pretty darn sure. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't be hard to get you, though. But that's one. We need five. Actually, not that one. This one. Oh, come on now. Why'd you get startled by that? You're fine. I honestly don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Come on, get sleepy. Get sleepy. Oh. Excuse you. Okay, that didn't work. Give me the Dr. Sodi. So that sweetie fly is a bit of a jerk. I will, uh... I think I'll try to get it from the ground, honestly. Oh, it's okay, weenie worm. It's okay. I'm not here for you today. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It's hard to say. <laughs> Uh, no, this one. Bunger. You go on like one of those trees over there, don't you? Oh my goodness, way up there. Okay, way up on that tree. All right. This is a good way to kill a day as well, so that's fine. Let's see if I can if I can get on top of that tree. That takes me back to where I don't want to be. It's actually going to be hard, I think. I think it's actually going to be quite tricky to get you.
Because I feel like that's going to hit that tree right there. It's hard to say, though. Come on, sweetie fly. Come on. Come on, come on. Nope, she dodged it. I'm not entirely sure why she dodged it, but she dodged it. So I might just leave that for now. I don't want to... That's an annoying spot to try and catch a sweetie fly, so... We're just going to leave that for now. We'll head back into Flavor Falls, I believe. Yeah. We'll head back to Flavor Falls. Get a strabby or two, and that should be good. I mean, I could also... Are you, you're a... You're an olive. We don't want an olive. So, Rudel. Sandalpede. Strabby. Yes. Strabby's. Where's the other... Where's the other one? There you are. Now, I'm really confused. I remember, like, way back when I was first playing this. There was a, uh... There was a bug when I put one of these things in. I thought it was one of the olives. I thought it was one of you, with the green olive. I thought he came and scooped up my trap. And just flew away with it. So now I'm, like... Now I'm a little bit confused. Oops. <laughs> Fuck you, Bunger. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I think, like, I, I feel like most of this should be sweet enough for her. I hope. I got a sweet... I got two sweetie flies, a can of soda, and a strawberry. Not a great last meal, but I already gave her donut, waffles, and some jam. And then we'll go adventuring with her, maybe? Oh, hey, hon. hey. Let's eat. All right, sweetie flies. There you go. Perfect, sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. Yum yum yum. Intriguing. Strappy. Well, let's get you a white strappy for your other horn. Unbelievable. Perfect. Nose, teeth, body. Let's go. Very good. Oh. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. Experiment will begin in 24 hours. I borrowed one of my brother's patented Grappinati traps and made some modifications. Once the device is activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. Uh, this is terrifying. Yes, I surmise that is why I am inside the device and you are not. I need you to load the funnel at the back and then we can begin. <laughs> Uh Strabby. You put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snobbington! Here to sabotage my career again! Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine, and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Flufty. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. Um. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. 
but not Snorpy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience, and I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, what's going on, boys? Chandler. The great thing about being Chandlo, what you see is what you get. I got nothing to hide. No shame. You checking out this beef, bro? I don't blame you. Yeah. He flexes. <laughs> what he does <laughs> late at night is he flexes. <laughs> Specimen jar. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Grambus is going to like that. All right, Bifka, where are you, you freaking wiener? There you are. Chandler flexes. What? Shut up! Nobody is free of dirt. The more innocent somebody looks, the nastier the secret. Trust me. I have an idea. We're going to go through Snorpy. Nobody knows Chandlo like Snorpy. I need you to turn me into green bug snacks. I'll tell you why later. <laughs> okay. Um. Green snacks. I got this. I got the. In I don't want to give up the interim though. Where'd Tiffany go again? I wanted it. God damn it, Tiffany. Every time I want to, like, do something with you and, like, help you out, you're gone. I guess because I'm stuck with freaking Bifica. Alright, green bug snacks. Where's the easiest ones to get? Mm, no. Scorched Gorge. Probably the green pill bug. So I really just need to catch one feeder tour, and then I can use the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the, it's gone. But the, the science-y thing. The science-y thing to turn our arms into green pill bugs. Yes, we got that there. Where does this go again? There. All right. You seem new, but you're not. <laughs> I love that. You seem new, but you're not. Give it up. Spotty, stop being such a jerk, man. You're not nice. Yay. Thank you, buddy. We got ourselves green pill bug. That's literally all we needed. Just need one. And then we can just work our magic. Because I assume she's like, she wants to try to trick him into thinking that she's Chandlo. I don't like that we're doing this, but hey, let's eat. Okay, green pill bug. I'm sorry, wiener. It's an experiment. Let us go. Pill bug. Okay. This is perfect. Thanks, bestie. Here's the plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses. And I know he cleans them every day at five. <laughs> so we'll approach him then. And if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. And obviously Snorpy isn't going to keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. You're awful. It's not silly if it works. Snorpy isn't going to know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. I feel bad for this. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Can I, like, ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. 
Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. Oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah, uh, that, yes. I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I love you with every fiber of my heart. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Bethika, when did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private moment? Uh, bro, she just ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? Chandler? Anybody? Gotta get out of here. Befika. <sighs> Chandler buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. Why is this your problem? I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they really are. And, like, I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. <sighs> the only upside to being stuck on this island? At least I have bug snacks to keep me company. Oh, seriously, what about me? I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. Can I really trust you? There's plenty of time to find out, but I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know. Imitation beef. Oh my Ooh, word. Yeah. I don't I don't want your journal. Stop being so angry. D oh, Tiffany's asleep. Ah! Ah! That's not my house. <laughs> This is my freak of a house. <laughs> my monstrosity. <laughs> uh. Alright, Tiffany. Let's go on an adventure. Let's go. She's still asleep. Yo! Your wife is still asleep. When does she wake up? Wake up. Get up. It's time to go. 5.30. Time for adventure. Let's go. Yep. According to the journal, this boiling time bay. we're heading for the Boiling Bay. All right. All righty. See you there. <laughs> Dead man's chest. Ooh. I am excited. Adventure. Back here Lovely again. place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. The one with if the chest. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. All right, I know exactly where it is. It's over here. Are you going this way? No, you're going that way. Ah, oh, Mini Maki. Alright, where's Tiffany? Over there. Holy cow, the Minimaki are angry. Found it. Hmm. That settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred <laughs> years ago. But I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. Um. Oh wait, she wants a palatos. Talk to <sighs> you later. God damn it! All right, well, she wants a palatos. Come on then. Uh. 
Come on, pop, 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 pop. Alright. You want a Palatos? Here you go. At least I didn't want the big one. Oh, calm down, Queeble. Alright. I want I want you to have a popsicle ear. I don't want to see a popsicle stick. Isn't that nifty? Oh, come on, man. Delicious. That's disappointing. You know, Floopty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but Imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? Anything else? I can't find anything. She's not here either. Who's not here? I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See... Some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was going to explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here. To find out what became of her. <sighs> Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, see you later, Beach. I got the mini Maki just hanging out over there, which is... Which is kind of cool. Alright, well, back to Simmering Springs, and then we gotta go back through there. And I think we'll probably head out through the Scorch Desert. I think. Yeah, through the Scorch Desert. And then go to the new spot. I think. I think. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Because we got a new character over there. And we got Agabel up in the forest. Which I don't want to go there yet. Because that seems like important things. There he goes. Okay. Um, I'm really bummed out. That those didn't count as breakfast. Is there anything in Scorched Earth that could be breakfast? Not really. And, like, I feel like the biggest, beefiest ones, like, I, I don't know if he wants beef or not, would be a barbecue beef burger. And probably a bunger. Or, yeah, barbecue bunger. Or a plain old bunger. Like, 3,000 calories. Let's look at it calorie-wise. Fryder? Oh my god, Fryder has so many calories. 31,000. Yeah, I think, uh... I think the barbecue one might be the best one. 50,000? Oh, shit. Yeah, he's meaty. Okay. Hmm. Oh, ribble beads. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Ribble beads, and they're so easy to get. Chandler was gonna love them. Just has something over there. Stop it. Uh, ribble bead, ribble bead, ribble bead. Where you do? Where you do, boys? Uh, nope. Should be in here, though. Yeah. Guys, I don't even know what the hell just happened there, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Rebel Pete should be on the ceiling in here, yeah. Here he is. Aim at the Rebel Pete. Rebel Pete, baby. Absolutely.